My dad is serious. My daddy is funny. That is very intense. My daddy is brave. My dad is very helpful. My daddy is kind. Yeah, my dad is very emotional. My daddy is silly to me. My dad is very proud, I hope. But from what I can see from afar, that he is a good dad. You know, I see the change in him from being a father, and it's, uh, it's really cool. When you have your own children, it changes your life and you start looking at everything different. And I think at that point, once they had Kaylin, it, it was uh, a different mindset for Kevin Harvey. For sure, there was a huge change in Kevin when we had Kaylin. I think he, he made some poor choices early on because he, I think he rebelled a lot because I think he was trying to fight against that. I'm gonna make my own way in this sport. As he matured a, a lot and it took some time, um, you know, I think he realized that the things that he was doing on track really wasn't beneficial. But honestly, the biggest key happened to be when we had Keelan. He wanted to be his hero. He wanted to do the right thing. You know, we talk about a lot that you lead by example. And, you know, there's been times when Keelan would see a, a clip or something and, well, why did dad do that? And I'll, I'll say, I don't know. You need to go ask your dad because I don't know why he did that. Um, and I said, I bet he wouldn't do it that way again, but you should ask your dad. But also, I think we've also had really good conversations with Keelan of, Look, I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes, but I need to write those mistakes. And he'll explain to him, you know, something happens on the track. Um, you know, I did, I did call this guy or I did text this guy. I made a mistake. I'm going to own up to it. Um, so I think those are always good learning lessons for Keelan. Good job, Daddy. I love that he races, but I'm sad that he's going to retire because I really love to go to the racetracks. My favorite part is when I get to go on the grid and just hang out with everybody, the crew. I get to check the tire pressure, see that that's fun. Well, we're really fortunate that we've been able to take Keelan to the track and to take Keelan to work with his dad in a sense. Um, you know, we, we decided we'd had KHI for 10 years and that was our baby. And when we made the decision to start a family, we were gonna 100% focus on family. That was the most important thing. So obviously the cup schedule is very hectic and very demanding, but we knew we couldn't split time between running race teams and having a family. So I think Keelan went when he, the first, he was either three or five weeks old. He went to Atlanta, was his first race, first flight, all those things. And, you know, we've been so fortunate because, um, you know, the 29 guys were really, um, they opened their arms to Keelan and they let him tinker and play. And, and even the four guys, those, those guys have seen him grow up. We've had the same group of guys since 2014 on the four car, and they have, and he was two years old, two and a half, when you know, he got around those guys. So at the time, he could sit out on pit road for qualifying, and he could sit on the pit box. And I remember at Bristol, he was 18 months old, and we were sitting there for about 350 laps. He sat in the seat, and only because it was way past bedtime that I made him get down, but he sat there and he watched, and, and I, you know, I don't know how many 18-month-olds could sit there for that long, but he was, I could tell that he was very obsessed with race cars at the time. Uh, do you have a favorite memory with your dad? Uh, at Michigan, when I rode in the car with him. He's asked me for a couple days that, he said, Daddy, if you win, I want to go across the track and get the checkered flag, so um, pretty cool to, to be able to, to watch him do that. I think for me, watching him take Keelan for a ride, it was pretty emotional for me because, I mean, can you imagine having that memory with your dad? It's a heck of an experience for this oh my goodness. young kid, but for Kevin too, be able to have his son like this with him, I mean, that's incredible. I like going to Michigan because it always brings me fun memories. That's just an incredible family moment, something that they will never forget. My second time in the car at Michigan was my favorite time because my dad did a donut. Still has enough fuel that he can do a burnout with Keelan. The problem was Piper also saw that and <laughs> Piper kept thinking, when am I going to get my chance, which eventually happened. And Are you going to go for a ride with me? You going to go? Yeah. That was my first time riding in the car. The best part of that story was I think Keelan was racing in Italy and he wasn't at Michigan. So Piper, when she got the chance to be at Michigan by herself, it had rained right before the race started. 
we were sitting on the pit box with Rodney and some of the crew guys, and they had showed that clip of Keelan getting able to or being able to ride in the car. And she looked at uh, me and she said, "When can I do that?" And I said, "I don't know. You better ask your dad. That's my go-to. You better ask your dad." And um, she turned around and she goes, "Dad, I need you to win today because I need to ride in the car." And you know, we go back and things start to play out, and then it's kind of that feeling again of, "Gosh, that would be really awesome if." she got to do that because you know she she went to victory lane at the brickyard and she remembers not not kissing the bricks but she was young she was two and then we didn't go for almost two, you know we weren't allowed to go when COVID hit so she's had a chunk of time that she didn't get to make those memories like Keelan did and so for me that was really special that she got to make that memory just like her brother did. I think it's cool when he wins. Do you have a favorite memory at track? I think Michigan would be one because they each got to have their own time with him. You know, sometimes it's hard to be able to give each one a special memory and he was able to do that where both of them at Michigan. Aside from making sure that you know, he's, he's giving feedback to the team and, and obviously the team is super important, but as soon as he gets home on Sunday night, it is focused on them and we homeschool the kids so we're able to be with them a lot and we have lunch together and you know when he does have to go away you know it's a little difficult for them but we are together quite a bit and they are his number one priority. He is such a great dad because whenever me and me or Piper want to do something he always just does it. He doesn't hesitate. He just says okay let's go do it. Oh hey Piper. How you doing? Piper likes to ride her scooter. Because he plays with me a lot. Typically, um, they like to jump on the trampoline, they like to have bike races, um, and anything usually turns out to be a race, whether it's you know, how many times can you jump high on the trampoline or how many times can you, you know, ride your scooter up and down the driveway. Hey buddy, this is Kevin. Thank you. Do you want to race because of your dad? Mm-hmm. Well, he always wins. Well, he helps me every day, just in life generally, because he helps me how to get better and stronger, and he just helps me get through life easier. I like to give him the finger, and I like to give him the fist bump. Can you describe the finger? Like I do this, it means good luck. And what does he do to your finger? He shakes it. They just like to be with him. We build forts. We do all those, you know, fun kid things, but if he's there, they're happy. This is a good one. When, once we were bouncing with each other, and my daddy, like, flipped himself and fell on the trampoline. He's never done that before because he's so big, and I was the only one bouncing with him. He, like, like, had a meltdown. He almost, like, hit his face. Kevin Harvick. Forever a dad. Forever a dad. Forever a dad. Forever a dad.